Hey, Shazam15 here. Right, this week's review is a bit odd because it's essentially a re-release into the cinema of a film that's rather unpopular, but only for one particular reason, which somewhat bugs me. The film, of course, is Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. Now, almost everyone who hates this film hates this film for one particular reason which is one particular character Jar Jar now if you ignore Jar Jar seriously it's very easy you just go meh when you're looking at him throw him out if you ignore his role in the film the film isn't too bad it's a little bit on the poorer side but you know there have been worse ones uh, right. The been worst films. Anyway, uh... Right, so running through, what are the good bits? Well, you have Qui-Gon Jinn. Qui-Gon Jinn is a good character from my perspective. I reckon they don't use him enough. He's actually quite an interesting character, and... You know, he's better than what he gets given. Darth Maul, okay, a little two-dimensional, but still... There's potential there as a character. Shame it's just so delivered so flatly. Uh, some of the Gungan army as itself is quite a characterful thing. The droids are not as characterful as they are in later films, but you know you see the beginnings of some of the better characters of the prequel trilogy emerging, and that is entirely due to the fact that let's face it. Only the droids are funny in the prequel films. Um, yeah. The mastery of the politics. Now, for some people, this is really boring and really badly delivered. However, I think it's quite well delivered. The whole plot where, in order to assume the Supreme Chancellorship, Palpatine arranges the arrangement, arranges the invasion of the planet that he represents in his alter ego as Darth Sidious works really well. You can see the beginnings of this vast plot that will lead to him becoming the Emperor of the Galaxy and a duplicate for Medwin Hughes according to the University of Wales Trinity St. David. That is a joke that only will be recognised by my um, fellow graduates and current university students of the university I went to, so ignore that joke if you don't go there or know what that means. Um, right. So basically, I just love the complexity of this plot. It's huge, and he's playing both sides masterfully. And it's quite nice. I like seeing that. It's a bit of cunning. It's a lot of cunning in a villain. Normally villains are a little bit more two-dimensional. You know, anyone who accuses it of being a bit flat, well, the character is still moulding. You've got to... Because it's a prequel, you have to take characters out of how you know them as fully developed characters and then deconstruct them into an earlier period. It's like trying to make someone look like they did in a photograph that you never saw from a time before you met them. Anyway, um, yeah, I suppose this film has a lot of flaws, but at the same time, it's got some interesting bits. Some of the more amusing parts are the fact that if you realise that this is the first time Anakin, that Anakin and Obi-Wan meet, it makes everything that Obi-Wan Kenobi says in A New Hope a complete load of rubbish. He's not a great pilot. He flew a plane on automatic pilot and he shot a couple of things and he did a pod race now lots of people like the pod race scene it's not that thrilling for me I'm not that into racing however I did find it funny that you have the bounty hunter that appears in the Clone Wars cartoons helping Boba Fett just standing there randomly in one of the pod racing scene shots but you know, less said about that, the better. Uh, yeah, basically, 
I would always suggest people watch this film again with new eyes. You can orange our jobbings. I don't find him as annoying as everybody else does, but then again, I am capable of tolerating idiots. Anyway, uh, if you want to watch it, enjoy. I would suggest you watch it again, ignoring, trying and ignore Jar Jar Binks. It can be done, and if you can do, it's a lot better than you think it is. Anyway, uh, TTFN. I will see you. Ne well, I will see you next week.